All right. <clears throat> Consider this infix expression. When you look at it, you're not sure what you need to do, whether it's you multiply or divide or first or whatever. So if you look at the 7 minus 4, and then you um, move outwards. Now, when you run into this, I know you, you might think about the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's P-E-M. DAS, which is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Well, here, when you do, you, you've got a kind of a little bit of a conundrum between do I do the 7 minus 4 and then divide by 5? Well, what you need to do is if when you run into a compound statement that has multiplication and division, you go ahead and do it from left to right. So you can see the red parentheses, that would be the next level. Then the yellow parentheses would be the next level or green, sorry about that. And then the blue parentheses, as you moved outward, um, you could do it, you would do it this way. And then in the end, you have the yellow parentheses. This would be the fully parenthesized infix expression for the above expression. Now I'm going to show you how to evaluate it. When you evaluate it, you go through ignoring the left parentheses, and when you get to the first right parentheses, you look at the operation that is done between the two numbers, and it's a minus. And you move to the next right parentheses, and if you notice, if you go out to those red parentheses, in that bracket, there's a times operation going on. And you go to your green parentheses, and you'll notice there that division is the operation that goes on within those nested parentheses. Then you go to the blue, you're going to get a minus, that makes sense. And then you're going to get a yellow, and you're going to get a plus. Now you're ready to move this into post-fix. So what you do is you start at the extreme left-hand side, and so you start reading it. You read the 4. Then you move along, and you're just going until you hit numbers, and then you're going to look for those little operators that you put below your right-handed parentheses. You hit the 15, write it down. You go along, you hit the 7, write it down. Ignore the minus there. You hit the 4, write it down. Now you're going to throw on the minus that goes with the white parentheses, and then the times that goes with the red parentheses. Ignore this divide. You're going to write down the 5, then you're going to go to the green divide. You're going to write that down. And then you're going to write down the blue minus. You're going to go over and you're going to write the 8 down. And then you're going to write down the yellow plus. Let's go a little slow there. Okay. When we go to evaluate this, we're going to actually put it on the stack. So as we go through and we start to put it on the stack, the 4 comes down first and is red. It goes on the stack. Then the 15 comes down, and it goes on the stack, but it bumps the 4 up. Then the 7 comes down, and it goes on the bottom of the stack, and it pushes the other two numbers up. Then the 4 comes down, and it goes down on the bottom of the stack. And So this is what your stack looks like before you get to your first minus sign. Then you come down, and you pull the minus sign. And what's going to happen here is 7, 4, take away is going to happen here. So 7, 4, take away is 3. Okay, so now on your stack, you just have three things. 4, 15, and 3. Now you run into the time symbol. You're going to go 15, 3 times. It's going to give you 45. Okay, this is still your stack. You've got two things on your stack. Now the 5 is read in. Now you've got you know, 5, 45, and 4. The bottom of your stack is 5 and then the top. So you're going to come along and this is going to read 45, 5, divide. So you should get 9. Now there's two things on your stack, 9 and 4. The minus symbol comes down, and you're going to get 4, 9, minus. Well, 4 take away 9 is minus 5. And then 8 is going to be put on the stack, on the bottom of the stack. And then this operator is going to come along, and you're going to go minus 5, 8, plus. Well, that's going to give you positive 3. There's your answer. That's how you evaluate the postfix notation. Thank you for watching.